Hey guys, I'm going to do my next book talk called Hard Love by Ellen Kipplinger. Um, this book is about two um, young high school kids who are um, from two separate parts of the city of New York. Um, the Rizal is obsessed with uh, the first one is Amy Rizal um, Guzman. Um, she is a gay out lesbian, um, very sure of herself she wants to be in life and um uh she's definitely gothic um she's more of a loser she doesn't really get close with a lot of people um uh she, dorothy is her closest friend and confidant and um she has very clean clean philo or clean philosophy philosophy sorry and uh, that's basically how she meets john and um the main character is john gillard one of the main protagonists in the story. Um, he hasn't been loved or touched by his mom or dad since he was 16. Um, he shows absolutely no emotion at all in Carrie with John, but he does, however, show emotion for Marisol. Um, she is the most, she is in love with a man named Peter and he has asked for her and asked even asked her to date you and he's not really is another character, um, Anne Van Hassen, I think, Esther Hassen, um, she tries to date him again, and she definitely shows no emotion for John, and ends up dating her, her husband, John Sr., uh, left her, and so he's very withdrawn, um, so they meet, and Marisol basically helps him with his problems, and he's very helpful, um, with him dealing with his emotions, and stress. Um, they stay together throughout most of the book until she leaves him to go to New York with her friends and this is the quote of the book that has to do with that. I watched her walk away, first thinking good riddance, who needs this place? And then after a minute thinking, she never really understood me, which rapidly changed to I never understood her at all. And before long, I was watching her small back disappear and I think Derek was the only person Marisol was definitely a person who could have been in any room with me at all. And um, even though she showed no emotion, she kept pushing me and me trying to kiss her once. Um, she kept coming back to me. She never left me. She had all the medical issues and did more than his best friend Brian could, um, which is really interesting. And they, for the longest time, they were only contacted over their Zoom um, that they had online. And finally, he was like, you know, people have worked with me. He said, who they like? Let's meet up for coffee. And they go on these little coffee dates, and you know, one thing leads to another, and they're just they've been best friends ever since then. Uh, she basically goes to New York, and he visits her again, and he regrets never seeing her again because she is the only person who really understood him. Not only because of the Zoom aspect in English, but also um, the fact that you know you can have a friend that we can even talk about that in the last time. We can talk about so many things in this book. Um, discovering yourself, having close friends who understand what you're going through. You know, talk about the subject of divorce. Talk about um, you know close friendships. And you can do so many things in this book. It's just awesome. Um, I would definitely teach the um, Zoom aspect distance relationship aspect of it in a, within a book is definitely um, important. Um, uh, I consider it kind of romance because John has a thing for Marisol. Um, the tone of the book is definitely um, loose. Um, it does have a controversial issue with the fact that Marisol is a lesbian. So you can even talk about the LGBT aspect of it all, which is very controversial. Um, I just, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a great